I can hear you typing away already with what you disagree with, and that's okay. We're here for the discussion. Without further ado... The top 10, starting with number 10, Madden 2. It was the golden age of Madden. 2005, Ray Lewis on... Okay, we're here, but not for a quiz. Except you know that, because usually I'm on the other side of the quiz. We're doing something video game related, like we've promised. The top 10... 2005. or games from different genres that you played growing up that you feel would be the best. They'll also have the opportunity to give an honorable mention of their list as well. The rest of the Bar Down team, they agree with most of the entries on this list. Like, how is better than Mario Kart? I wouldn't put it ahead of Madden. Wii Sports, number one! They agree with most of the games on this list. There's always a game that you play in sports video games of all time. How do you kind of come up with that kind of list? There's two of us that kind of help form the list. I wish it was higher up, but we'll deal with it. Matt. At number nine, MVP Baseball. Where like people would actually call in, hey Tony, with like their like horrible voice acting. Hey, on the cover. Go Ravens. Madden 05 was a staple in the franchise. I mean, it introduced the hit stick. Finding any way to make defense fun in football is a major win for your gameplay, and the hit stick is one of the best defenders in the league right now, dog. It's a revolutionary game in the franchise. I'm a little upset it's so low on the list. Easily the most fun addition, I think, that they've ever added to the defensive side of Madden. It's not even just a nostalgia factor. The 05, you could customize just about anything in the game. Everything was just amazing in Madden. There was the mini games that you could play. There was Tony Bruno. The game was actually like a better Madden than the ones that are coming out right now. The games were so deep, you could go into off-season owner mode. 2005. There used to be MVP Baseball 2005. It's back in the day when the baseball games were actually still competing against each other. If you were actually mad about the calls, you could get your manager tossed out of the game. You have that power in MVP Baseball. It's the best time that took place beforehand. The MVP Baseball 2005 is definitely one of those games. Back before exclusivity kind of ruins sports games a little bit. Other. No other baseball game was doing what this game had. So far ahead of its time. The mini games, I spent hours for baseball. The Red Sox were good and the Yankees were good. That rivalry was at its peak. This was like the pinnacle of a baseball game. It's about the innovation. Number eight. Wii Sports. Hey, this is Manny Ramirez. MVP Baseball 2005. Just trying to hit dingers. The pitching mini games. You could send your manager out and you chose how mad he got. I know what you're thinking. Don't close the video. I love Wii Sports. It gets some hate. I'm having fun and exercising. As you can tell, I have a large frame. But like, why? It's so much fun. Wii Sports is right up there when you're talking about revolutionary games. Innovation. Innovation. Nobody saw this coming. Some people say it's a gimmick. They'd be right. But you know what? Video games are about having fun. It felt like you could be really good at it, but there was also like a really low bar for being good at it. So like everybody could play. This is the first video game sports. Everyone's experienced Wii Sports. I'm not one of those idiots who has just sent my controller flying through the TV. <laughs> Idiots, I'm looking at you. Anybody who disagrees with Wii Sports being on the list, you don't like fun. Wii Sports is just too like, yeah, we're all- That actually got my Nono up off the couch playing a video game. At one point, it felt like everybody on planet Earth was playing Wii Sports. Oh. Ah! Mama! All you in This might be one of the most underrated, flawless controls. Not only did it look incredible, but it also had an incredible story mode, which almost no sports game. It's battles that they have in it where it's still incorporating the fight stick. Incredible. Fight Night Champion is still a go-to game for so many boxing fans. I don't agree with exercise. So number eight, too high. No, like low. You know what I mean. And now we come to number EA, please give us another Fight Night. No. Sports games of all time. All the Fight Night games are great. Unreal game. And this is where they elevated and perfected the boxing video game. Not only does it have like Number seven Fight Night Champion. managed to actually have. This is the only game on the list that's M rated. You bare knuckle box in a prison for part of it. And the boss 
and the boss battles that they have in it where it's still incorporating the fight stick. Incredible. Fight Night Champion is still a go-to game for so many boxing fans. EA is one of the Gran Turismo games. I remember when I got a PS2, I still couldn't believe how good the graphics looked on a PS2. Getting is synonymous in the gaming community as the racing simulator. Of all the racing series that are out there, I think the one that's paved the way. thing that this list clearly took into account is like a global scale, not just like, okay, Madden is fun in America. I can't believe you didn't rank this higher. Pretty sure that it was a requirement that if you had a PlayStation 2, you definitely had at least- Your licenses was stressful. You had those like endurance races and the multi-hour long races. Gran Turismo is- a For the grand success of console racing games. And I think it influenced a lot of people into actually liking racing games. Some best racing game of all time. Number five, you've been waiting for a hockey game. NHL 07. A sport game like Gran Turismo is obviously a massive franchise, not just in North America, but worldwide. So it makes sense that it'd be on the list. It, the best. This was when NHL... Production of the skill stick is what puts NHL 07 on this list. NHL 07 is like looking at a game and it's like the same with my button controls. And then there was the people who wanted to evolve like the game was. It felt like almost every sports game was kind of saying like, welcome to the rest of your life. I feel like it's probably the most intuitive of all the sports games. You move it to the side and your guy also... All changed forever. The skill stick. The skill stick. The skill stick. Skill stick. The skill stick. The EA Sports skill stick. The intro moves a stick to the Side. There was a divide with this game at the beginning. There was the people who were like, this skill stick is too complicated, I'm gonna stay. Push it forward. It's weird to play NHL 07's predecessors now. It pretty much killed out 2K as well. He anymore. There's not even an argument on this one. If you can not only make catching up to, to what they did, they all wanted to use the analog stick in their own way. If you want to take a slap shot, you pull the stick back and then you put... How can you play the game with circle as shoot and triangle as hit? It just doesn't seem true to hawk classics. We still play this in the office. This is a game I've probably played more than any any other game. The power drive when you're tapping L1. The dramatic Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2005. I think it definitely deserves to be in the top 10. The Tiger Woods games work. Yeah, you probably belong on this list. Number four is Tiger Woods 2005. <laughs> Cinematic cinematic cameras when you, you had those long eagle shots or those long putts. You can just be OP Tiger Woods. Uh, an entire genre of sports game better and on top of that eliminate your competition because your control scheme is really good. Against VJ and Phil. Another game that used a thumbstick properly. You had to practice, you had to be really good, and it was fun when you- We had to choose one and it had to go to Tiger. Tiger, 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 Wood Joe. Numbers were good. It almost got too easy by the end with how much we played it when you're dropping like minus 30s over a four day tournament. There are a lot of golf games out there. Tony Hawk, that brings back there too, is just like took a great skateboard game, which was hadn't really been done before and just filled in all the gaps that was missing in the first. I like playing in the hangar and one of, if not the best soundtrack in all sports video games. The soundtrack. The soundtrack was amazing. Obviously you want to sell games, but on top of that, I'm sure Tony Hawk has been pretty happy with the fact that he spawned an entire generation of people. Three. Tony Hawk, Pro Skater 2. memories. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 was number one for me. The game was incredible. I think that it's the greatest sports game of all time. Tony Hawk Pro Skater just doing Japan airs. This is what got a lot of people that weren't even into skateboarding into skateboarding. Who didn't want to skateboard after watching that game? It really introduced me as a kid to just like different kinds of music. Put so many people onto skateboarding. Yeah, able to, to like and care about skateboarding all just from a video game. One day they're little shredders. When you put Michael Jordan on the cover of your game, you're gonna hit a shot every time. And that was a big thing with those basketball games where just because you could kind of find the glitch in the system, 2K11 was sort of the game that really realistic basketball game. 2K kind of established itself as like, this is the basketball game. Guys Wide Open isn't just brought realism to basketball games. All of the Michael Jordan iconic moments that you could recreate, incredible. You just package that together with what was- The next day they're grinding and gnashing their way to college. Number two. NBA 2K11. NBA 2K11. 
games. I think 2K is awesome and it's a lot of fun. I just don't play it that much. From like NBA Live 95. It's just such a well-polished game. The pacing of it actually feels like basketball. You have to run basketball plays. You can't just drive the lane. It did a great job of actually teaching you the fundamentals of basketball and adhering to those fundamentals and out of it, you actually got a fun game. There's just so many great balls making a massive statement. You're saying the greatest of all time and NBA 2K11 is the greatest basketball game of all time. This game was the first like- and once the lives fell off, it was nice that 2K sort of took cool, really fun, and in my opinion, it made NBA 2K11 the greatest basketball game of all time and the number two sports game of all time. I have to like NBA Jam. NBA Jam, better game. <laughs> NBA Street, though. Took that mantle and ran with it. Most people prefer Arcadia over Sim, and yet this Sim blended it enough that it was really cool. <laughs> easily the best selling sports game in the world. As far as non N64 games go, FIFA 12 is hands down my favorite game. This game was one of the games that really got you to love the series in the first. I like this, this is a great choice. I respect this choice as number one because I respect the FIFA franchise so much. This ain't over. At our number one spot. And I can already hear you typing. It's FIFA and it's gonna be FIFA 12. It's FIFA 12. I'm really happy it's number one on this list. That's our list. I'm sure you did not agree with all of it. I got a lot of problems with you people. <laughs> NHL 9. Mario Tennis Aces, oh my goodness, there's so Cultural importance, but I, I don't know if it's the greatest hockey game of all time. But I do recognize its place in video game history. All of the games out. FIFA 12 really captures how beautiful a game it is, how much fun it can be, and 94 got robbed. And I got some gripes. Oh man, there's so many. But 94 is probably the better game because that's when they introduced one-timers, which in a sense was the worst thing to ever. Much fun. Any Mario tennis game, any Mario golf game. Uh, you might be wondering why NHL 94 isn't on the list. I do get that it's cool. It happened to hockey video games too because it's the only way to score. One direction we didn't really go was... Uh, it is definitely one of the top ones. If there was like an extension to the top 15, it would be in that one. It's not on the list of 10. I'm more into 93 day. FIFA 12 introduced us to precision dribbling. It wasn't just a gimmick, it actually changed the way you play the game. And most importantly, it changed the pace of how you play that game. It feels very natural compared to some of the old clunkier mechanics or movements in some of the older games. Did it introduce people to the sport? How many people just know anything about soccer just from FIFA? I didn't like soccer. To that series, that it's that fun, that even in North America where we make jokes about where you can't use your hands to play this place. The soccer fans here are fewer and far between but it's definitely a great game. That game changed my life as a child. I still play to this. Tactical defending. You couldn't just spam down the B button or the circle button. Now you actually had to think about what you were doing. Entirely games. It's just such a fun, simple game. What makes a sports game one of the greatest of all time, and in this case, the greatest sport, that people are like, yeah, you know what? Like, this is kind of the best sports game out of a whole lot growing up after I stopped playing it. But then you play FIFA and then it's like, I'm missing something here. I think it speaks volume. NCAA Football 13. The fact that you guys do not have any of these NCAA games on here is it. We're not gonna put any wrestling game. I know the games that they come out with now, I haven't bought them in a while because yeah, they're kind of trash, let's be honest. The Bell Blitzes are incredible for N64. Wii Sports is my honorable mention at number eight. <laughs> I honor you with the number one. And it will also just kind of help spark debate for later. Maybe we'll do a follow-up video of some sort to this. So get type it, because I know you're angry. This is sex tricky. I love those games so much. You ever play Big Buck Hunter? That's sick. People should play that. An absolute joke, and it really, really bothers me and questions your video game knowledge. We're gonna put Fight Night on here, but the games back in the day, so much fun. WWF No Mercy. What are we doing? How isn't that on the list? Any of the NF fun spots. If you wanna drop a top 10 list of your own, do it. It's right there, down in the comments. We wanna see it, we wanna read it. Uh